Welcome. In this video, we will discuss the setNL command and when it is required in STAD Pro. So the setNL command is used in a multiple analysis run if you want to add more primary load cases after one analysis has already been performed. In that scenario, the setNL command would instruct STAD Pro to set aside additional memory space for information to be added later. Now before we take a look at our model in STAD Pro, let's go ahead and perform analysis so we can see what a warning might look like if you accidentally omitted this command. So up in the Analysis and Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, let's go ahead and click on the Run Analysis icon. And then review the results. Now before proceeding to the output file, I'd like to take a look to see if I have any errors or warnings that were produced during the analysis. Here I can see that one warning was produced, so let's go ahead and navigate our way to the output file. Now within the output file, I'm going to notice a warning has been issued. Let's go ahead and double click on this to jump to that location within the output file. What it's letting me know is that a change command was issued without the set NL command defined. It's also letting me know that the NL value should be the total number of primary loads and load combinations combined together. This will allow more memory space to be allotted than required, which may affect the performance. Let's go ahead and close out of the output file. Now, as mentioned earlier, the set NL command would be required when you have a multiple analysis run and you add more primary load cases after one analysis has already been performed. So if we were to take a look in our analysis dialog in the STAD Pro graphical user interface, I would notice that I am analyzing each of my static seismic load cases individually. Each of those load cases has its own perform analysis command, followed by a change command which will reset the stiffness matrix. In addition to that, after a change command, I am introducing additional load cases. You can see here I have my dead load case, my live load case, along with all of my repeat load cases, which are representing my load combinations for this model. In addition to that, the end of the input file also has my main analysis command. So in this scenario, the setNL command would be required. To invoke that command, let's go to the Analysis and Design tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, select the Miscellaneous Commands icon, and we will find the setNL command. Now we just need to set the maximum number of loads to be greater than or equal to the total number of load cases in the model. For this model, I'll go ahead and set that number equal to 30, and we will click OK. Do I want to delete the results file? Yes, because at this point I've changed the input file and I want to perform a new analysis. Now if you're looking for that set and L command, that set and L command will be inserted into your input file towards the beginning before all your model geometry is defined. Now at this point, let's go ahead and save our model again and re-perform our analysis. After the analysis is performed, I'm going to check to see if I have any errors or warnings. And we can see that we've now taken care of that warning and it's safe to proceed to review the rest of our results, which I can do either through the output file or through the post processor. This point, this concludes our process for adding the setNL command into a STAD Pro analytical model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.